In today's video, we are gonna get the best beignets and see the coolest voodoo here in New Orleans. impressions of New Orleans is that this place is pretty cool. It's so cool. There's so much history here. The architecture is awesome. Just like everything is so unique and just so cool. Mike is trying to gain entrance. It's closed. Everything's closed. So this is the uh, Ursuline, old Ursuline convent. It is the oldest building in the Mississippi Valley. They had nuns living here and provided the first girls school. So this is just a little garden area that's just right outside of this convent that's shut down right now. Cool to visit and come see. Once you look at it for three or four minutes, you're done though. So pretty. It's really peaceful actually over here. New Orleans is known for beignets. Everybody knows this. Beignets are amazing. We're gonna go today to a place called Cafe Beignet to try out, see if they actually have the best beignets in New Orleans. We're also going to go see some voodoo shops and maybe a voodoo museum, which should be very interesting. The only thing I really know about voodoo is that Lilo and Lilo and Stitch took her voodoo doll, put it in the pickle jar, and shook it up a lot. So I'm not sure if that's what they do here, but that's what they do in Hawaii. Our best tour guides here, Tiffany and John Michael, took us this morning to one of the greatest beignet places called Café de Monde. It's supposed to be like the most famous thing here. The beignets were great. So we're gonna try this other place, Café Beignet, to see which one is actually the best. I don't know, Café de Monde was pretty good. And we just lucked out, let me tell you, because the weather here is like 50 degrees. So it's perfect weather to be walking around, put a light coat on, and you're good to go. <laughs> or a not so light coat yeah. if you're different. Or a big red heavy puffy coat if you want because it's actually 43, but it works well. So before we head to Cafe Beignets, we need some real food in our stomach. So we're gonna go get some real authentic New Orleans, Louisiana po'boys. I'm so excited. I've never had a po'boy before in my whole life. I actually had no idea what they were until just now. I'm really excited to try them out. This is called Napoleon House. I have no idea anything about the history about it, but it had really good reviews online. It said, if you're going to New Orleans, you gotta come here. So we're gonna check it out. They've got jambalaya, po'boys, all sorts of other good things. We're gonna see what is the best that New Orleans has to offer. Michael is so excited about this place because it's like in this tiny little courtyard area. I'm so ready. This looks super, super good. We always had jambalaya growing up, but I have a feeling that this is going to be just a little bit different. The first bite. That is good. This is my first time trying jambalaya. I think it's pretty good. Better than I expected. Different than what I anticipated, but good. So you got your boys here. What do you think? It's pretty good. The pastrami is pretty good. I maybe should have gotten like the shrimp or something. I don't know how authentic this is, but I think maybe the shrimp would have made it more like New Orleans, Louisiana authentic. We got bread pudding. It's looking really good. Mmm. Wow. <laughs> that is really good. All right, that food was pretty good. We feel much better now. Now we're gonna go find some uh, voodoo places and whatever else we see on the way. We found another place that's closed. <laughs> this is the New Orleans Pharmacy Museum. It has all of this really cool old stuff that you would find at a pharmacy that a doctor might use, like old contraptions of things, medicines, all that kind of stuff. They have arnica, witch hazel, logwood, hemlock bark, orange flower water, and slippery elm. It seriously looks like this is like a potions class straight out of a J.K. Rowling book. We found a very traditional Louisiana steamboat called the Natchez. It's so pretty. It's all like historical and it like actually runs off of steam and they have live jazz and they can take you, you can do a tour. We were gonna go do a little cruise but they were sold out. Micah was noticing that one of the themes of our travels thus far is that a lot of things are closed or... They required like a previous reservation that I did not get to in time. Here's another good shot of the dirty river, I mean the Mississippi River. <laughs> do you guys think his jokes are funny? I sometimes do not. She always thinks my jokes are funny. We got our local preacher over here, over at Jackson Square by the church. Holding to the form of religion, but denying his power. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So you get to heaven. Jesus is the way, okay? He loves you all so much. My ticket to heaven, y'all. Going. I'm going. Are you? Now we got somebody telling some jokes and playing uh, the drums. I do. I do. Is that real Bongo Man? I got Instagram and Facebook. Oh, wait, not there. 
real bad. That dog brings tips to the owner, the, this guy playing the drums. Okay, so here in Jackson Square, they've got a lot of really cool stuff. Earlier, they had some live music going on. They've got art paintings and art, all of the wonderful things. Um, a lot of it is really cool, like New Orleans style, very colorful, bright, fun stuff. You can also get your palms read here at a psychic. We are here in Voodoo Authentica, I think is what it's called. Really like cool, I think. Nothing's really like too creepy, but some pretty neat things here. So these voodoo dolls say some pretty funny stuff. You can get them for all kinds of different things, like to get a lover and to get money and all kinds of stuff apparently. For example, this one is Animal Attraction Doll. This hot mama is always dressed in a sexy animal print. Keep her near the bedroom to incite passion. An animal attraction in your mate or mate to be. Blessings be with you always. We're buying that one. This is the Marry Me Doll. Are you ready for a big commitment? Try the Marry Me Doll. Use your doll as a focusing tool to draw in your soulmate. It's been made and blessed to bring just the right special someone closer. We wish you the happiest of marriages, a true love affair that lasts a lifetime. Aww. So yeah, this voodoo stuff is pretty cool. Kind of interesting, kind of uh, not too sure what it's all about. For example, like these ones, they basically say to go and get a piece of nail clipping or hair from you or someone else, pin it to the doll, and then if you want to send them good energy, you put a white pin, and if you want to send that person or yourself bad energy, you put a black pin. So it's pretty interesting. So that was a cool little voodoo place, but this is supposed to be the voodoo museum. So we're going to see which one is best. Okay, so that first voodoo place, Voodoo Authentica, we went to on Dumain Street. Super cool. There's a lot of space, a lot of things you could look at and read about. But this voodoo museum here on the northern side of Dumain Street, not as cool. Definitely not as awesome. It was a lot smaller and there was a lot less things to see unless you pay the 20 bucks to go look at more things. I don't think it was really worth it because we just saw a whole ton in Voodoo Authentica. So if you're coming to New Orleans and you want to see some voodoo, go to Voodoo Authentica on Dumain Street. Very cool. Interesting. Kind of quirky like you would expect from voodoo stuff really but if you want to see voodoo go there okay so here we are at Fifi Mahoney's she makes well, actually I don't know who she is but they make wigs that are they actually have like normal wigs but they also have like really crazy ones for Mardi Gras or for whatever time you want to wear a crazy wig I think this one fits right do you think green maybe is more my color it's like cute green Booger green. And it's like this big. Can you even get all of that in the shot? Like, it's huge. So I'm not too sure about Micah getting one of those booger green wigs, but I am pretty sure we're gonna get some of these beignets at Cafe Beignet. Oh yeah, let's go. It actually looks like they've got some really good stuff here. All kinds of gumbos and pecan waffles, Belgian waffles, veggie omelets, all tons of stuff. All right, we just got our fresh beignets. These are super fresh, I can tell. They are really hot, probably just came out of the fryer. We're really excited to try them. First impressions, Micah. Mmm. I think this one's my favorite. How do they compare to Cafe Du Monde? This one's a lot fluffier. A lot more, maybe like a, like a donut. Really fluffy, light. The other ones were a little denser. All right, let's see here. Oh yeah, these are way hot. Mm. Oh yeah, this is the way to go. If you're coming to New Orleans, in my opinion, Cafe Beignet is better than the other one at Cafe Du Monde. Mm. Tastes like heaven in your mouth. Look how fluffy that is. I think the only mistake we made by getting these is only getting one order. They're that good. These are like a better version of donuts. And that's saying something because I love donuts. Seriously, I'm like, let's go do our stuff and come back and get more. <laughs> All right, so that's about a wrap for New Orleans. It's been a lot of fun. The beignets are amazing. The voodoo was cool, but strange. Oh man, when was the last time I kissed you? Okay, so overall, New Orleans has been the coolest place we've visited so far. We would recommend coming probably for more than one day. We were able to see a lot of stuff today, but if we had more time, it'd be awesome because there's so much to see here. So that's it for New Orleans, Florida, here we 